So this video is inspired by a post on the forum about multi-part forms. Um, I've answered the question and referenced the uh, section from NAC, but I just thought it was worth showing you that there's a couple of variations on multi-step forms. So in my uh, classic Clips test app, I have a very simple table for clients. Um, we have the client name here, and we're just gonna be using the client address as well. So just switching over into pages, uh, just for this demonstration, I'm going to create a uh, public page. I won't have a logon on it, and I'm just going to call it um, add a customer. So on this page, I'm going to add a form uh, for a client from the client object, and it adds a client. So I'm just going to click this, save, and I'm going to initially remove all the fields on this form and then click add fields. I'm just going to add the client name. Go back one level and go to settings and just rem remove the heading that says add client. And I'm going to change the button from submit to continue because we're going to go onto a, another page. Come back and on the rules, the submit rules, instead of it showing a message, I'm going to get it to redirect to a new, new child page and I'm gonna call that page two and then save. So you can now see on the tree, we have page one, which is add the customer, which is just the customer name. That will then redirect to page two, which is currently empty. So I'll now add a view and add a form. And the important bit is to make sure you change it from add a new record to update a record. And I want to update the clients. So I'm just going to add that form there. Once again, it's got all of the fields on it or the first few fields. So I'm just going to remove all the fields once again and click add fields. And I'm just going to put the address field on here. Once again, go back to settings and remove the title. And this button can stay as submit because this will be the last page. So I'm just going to save that. So I'm just going to head over to the live app. There's no login on this one. It's just a page called add customer. So this is my first page. So I can put a customer name in, press continue, and that will take me on to the second page. And here I can add the address and then submit the record. So as you can see in the table, I've got the client name and the client address. One of the challenges with this is if the customer is filling in that two part form and changes their mind. So if I just go back and add another customer. So add the customer name and continue. There's a backlink here. And if the customer goes back, the field before is empty because the record hasn't completely finished and been submitted. So how I'd approach this is doing a different method. So go back into the builder and into pages. And I'm going to add another section here, uh, just once again, a public page and call it customer new and add my page, remove all my fields. So instead of having the customer name on here, um, I'm going to just remove this title, change submit to continue. So I have a form which is going to add a new customer and I leave it blank on the rules. I add a submit rule to this empty form, which redirects to a new child page. Just gonna call this page one, save. On page one, this is the page that it will be redirected to. I'm now gonna add a view of the form that edits the record that we just created as a blank record. So update this record put the client's information on there and add that. And do the same steps as before. I'm just going to remove all the fields and add the client name. Go back to settings, just remove the title, change the word submit to continue. Back to rules, submit rules. And when this page get submitted, go to another new child page and call this page two, obviously call it whatever's more relevant. Save that, go on to page two, add another view. Once again, it's a form and it will carry on 
updating the client record. Add that form, remove all the fields, add the address field, back to settings, remove the title. I can leave the button as submit. Um, and uh, because this is the last step on the rules, submit rules, I'm going to leave this as just displaying a message. So back into the live app onto my customer new tab. So I don't have any fields here. What this is doing is submitting a new record to the customer table, which is effectively blank. So all that will happen is it will create a blank record, redirect, and we're now editing that blank record. So I'll now continue to page two. And now because we're editing the record, I can go back on page one and that record information is still there because we're no longer creating this record and wait until we've submitted it. We've actually created a blank record, first of all, and then the next page is editing the record. So I hope you found that of use. Um, just in summary, the difference between adding a multi-step form where you're submitting the record at the end and creating a multi-step form, submitting a blank record at the beginning, and then each page is editing that record. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it of use. Catch you on the next one.